Hi, this is Beth Jufre from Atascadero News, and I'm here with Kate Steinway. Hello. <laughs> and she's going to play a song for us today um, on her ukulele. I am. <laughs> called Hurricane. And, uh, and we're really excited because Kate is touring right now and on her Wayfaring Woman tour. Yes. And uh, she is in town on July uh, 27th, July 29th at uh, Bristol Cider House. Yes. Yeah. So could you tell us a little about about the show and sure. what you're going to be doing? I'm going to be there playing some original music, but also covers from all different genres. I love mixing genres, doing mashups, and playing everything from like Brown Eyed Girl to the Chainsmokers to everything out there. And it's a really fun night with great cider. I love cider. And it's my second time to Bristol, so I'm really excited to go back there. And thank you so much for having me out there. Oh, Yay! Thanks, right. Cody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, this is an all-ages show. It is! Yeah, which is really nice. Bring your kids, bring really? your grandma, bring your puppy, yeah. bring bring whoever. It's going to yeah. be a really fun night. Kate has a very cute puppy. <laughs> I do! Very cute. He's so cute. He might come. It depends, <laughs> depends on uh, how excited he gets. <laughs> oh, good! <laughs> he wants to make friends with everybody. He loves everyone. Right. <laughs> And Kate, you know we have the Templeton uh, Middle School Ukulele Club. Yes, they might is... be there. They better be there. I hope they're there. That's so cool. Oh my God! If they bring their ukuleles, it could be fun. They might come join in on some songs. That oh, would be really fun. We would have so much fun. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to let you know there's something about Kate that's really really cool. Um, she is a Steinway, the Steinway, Henry Steinway from the piano family. Uh, and she actually grew up playing on a Steinway on her on her grandfather. Great, 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 great. My it's many, many Someone greats back with Henry. Uh, and and actually, my my grandfather uh, played piano as well. And but he was totally um, ear trained and self taught. And he had this beautiful 1946 Steinway upright piano that sat in his house that now sits in my parents' house and they just moved uh, right outside of Solvang so I get to go play it whenever I'm there and just bounce around on the keys and have fun. Uh, they're just, it's, it's an incredible, incredible piano, an incredible family and I feel honored to, to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And you've been and you've been practicing voice since you started speaking, right? <laughs> yes, opera. Uh, I did. Tell us yes. about your opera teacher from way way back. <laughs> Tell us about that. It's so crazy. I've studied voice, and the funny thing was, I I sang. My mom loves to say I sang before I could talk. And I always would go out there and sing. She has this funny story she would tell when I was very little. My favorite Disney uh, movie is Beauty and the Beast, which just came out again. And we went to the Hollywood Bowl and they played the overture from Beauty and the Beast, or they played um, Taylor's Old Time. They played the songs. And I'm this little kid and I'm just out there just singing it as loud as I possibly can. And everyone in the boxes is looking around like, who is this small child and what are they doing? And I think they knew that I was going to be a singer from back then, from all the way when I was little. And uh, when I was in second grade, I was picked to be a part of the um, Colburn Children's Choir. And from there, have studied voice with different teachers. I studied with uh, Susanna Guzman, who is an incredible um, opera singer. And we got to sing together in high school. And um, it was wonderful. Studied voice again at University of Michigan. And now I'm out here making my dream come true. Wonderful. Wonderful. She won't tell me her favorite opera. <laughs> I know too many. It's she like, will not tell me. We went back and forth talking about favorite <laughs> artists and favorite musicians too, and it's like it's like trying. It's it's so hard. I mean, every day there's there's different things that you feel, and you have feel music differently every day, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's it's so hard to pick. Like mm -hmm. there's just that's too hard. Right, that's too hard. But Aretha Franklin. I love Aretha listening Franklin. to her. I did. Yeah. Oh, She's yeah. wonderful, ones, right? Absolutely. Sarah McLaughlin. I love her too. Okay. I love you know, the Beatles, Rolling Stones. I listen the Beach Boys. I I listen to everything. I'm obsessed with this new Kesha song now that yeah. we're like obsessed with, and it's just she got me hooked on. <laughs> It's fun when uh, at the the Bristol show I'm gonna be playing stuff from every genre, so I think it kind of fits with me and my style. And 
And you have the um, Advanced Joy cover you do on your new I EP, do, I right? do. Yeah. I have this on this. New EP, uh, Live from the Road. I do. I've got actually two, which is uh -huh. so cool. I had okay. nothing and then two coming out very near. <laughs> so I have one that's available now that's um, a live CD that you can get at my show, and that has Advanced Joy cover on it, but then the rest are originals. And then this new one that is coming out is all originals, and that's going to have, I think the lead single is going to be Hurricane, which I'll play for you guys today. All oh, right. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, um, I'm just going to let you play your song, and thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Right. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. I'm so happy to be here. Hey, guys. So this is, this is my new song called Hurricane. And it's a little darker than some of my songs go, but sometimes you just got to go dark. Okay. 